What up, how it do? Today I'm going to run through a pretty quick and easy recipe for some tabletop standard red leather. I use this a lot in my Nights Excelsior Stormcast, but it's pretty universally applicable. So let's bibbidi bop right into it. Starting off, our base coat is going to be Pro Acryl Burgundy. Now, the most important step with Pro Acryl paints is to shake the bottle as hard as you can and then instantly open the cap so the paint explodes out of the bottle all over your hands. Oh God. I I've been doing this every single time I open Pro Acryl paints and it's by far the quickest way to get paint all over yourself while you work. Lay down an even base coat on all the leather parts, the boots, the tabard, leg and arm joints, etc. For the next step, we're moving on to Agrax Earthshade. Get a fairly thick coat of this over top of all the areas you base coated. You actually want to be really dark and shaded down in the folds of the leather. When you're using Games Workshop washes, just dip straight out of the bottle. There's no need to use a palette or anything. But do try to work quickly, because if you move it around once it starts to dry, you'll end up with some nasty lines and textures in the wash. Once those washes are all dried up, we're on to the highlighting aware effects. There's going to be a few layers here, but they're not too different from each other, so I'm going to fly through them pretty quickly. Your first highlight is going to be a one-to-one -one mix of Pro Acryl Burgundy and Bugman's Glow. Start highlighting along the raised areas in the leather. Any big folds, boots, gloves, stuff like that. On any large flat areas, try to feather on some scratchy fine wear patterns, focusing upwards towards the high points. After this, we'll be adding gradually more of a Aho tan into the mix, then repeating that same general highlighting pattern with each pass, focusing the highlights more and more on the parts of the leather that will catch the most light. Once that's done, I'll add another drop, at which point I'll just highlight the highest spots where the most light might hit the leather. The scratches and wear that you're painting on in this step should also be pretty fine and feathery. I'm trying to keep the leather fairly pink in this one, but if you want to give it a more orange or peach tone, you can definitely add more tan paint into the mix than I am here. It's all up to preference. At this point, you're basically done. If you want, you can use a little bit of Agrax Earthshade to touch up or reshade any areas on the leather where you might have overdone the highlights. Then you just call it a day. If you enjoyed this vid and you want more tutorials, don't forget to absolutely decimate those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.